I love bringing ideas to life through modeling and I found this beautiful lighting design on Pinterest that I'm really excited to recreate. Let's see how we can model it together. First, we need to create a new family on lighting fixture ceiling based. Then set the unit and go to front view. This is where our lighting source will be. So if you select it in this part light source definition, you can change its shape and distribution. For this type of lighting that we are going to create, I'm going to select this point or maybe this circle and for its distribution, maybe a spherical or hemispherical will be good. Apply and OK. Before we start modeling, I'm going to select this reference plane and I'm going to move it down so we have enough space in here to model our lighting. Then we need to go to ref level and in here I'm going to go to create tab and select extrusion. Then I will use this circle and I'm going to create a circle in the center and another one inside it. The radius of these circles could be different according to your design. For the inner circle, I'm going to go with 30 cm. And for the outer part, we can go with something like 35, 40, or maybe something between them. I'm going to go with 36. Okay, select both of them and check this center mark visible so we can see the center mark. And then we need to align and lock these circles with these lines, with both of them. Now you can hit finish. Then we need to go to front view and in here we are going to create some reference points. For now I will create one in here. After that we are going to align this model, this extrusion with this line, the light source line and the top part with this thickness line. In this case, if we change the elevation of the lighting, these lines will move together. If you want to control the thickness of this extrusion, you can create a dimension for this part and select it and turn it into a parameter. Or if you need a fixed number, you can select this reference plane and change the number in here and then lock it like this. This distance will be always 10 cm. To add a little bit of form to this simple circle, I'm going to create a void extrusion. Pick these two lines and also this center line and after that create an offset of 10 cm in both sides of this line. Then use this start and radius arc and create two arcs in both sides of these lines like this. After that, we are going to trim these parts like this and delete these lines in center. Now we need to align these lines and also these points with this reference plane and also this bottom line. After you make sure that it's completely locked, you can hit finish. Then we need to go to 3D view and move it to this part. Now we need to cut it. Just click on this cut geometry, select the extrusion and then this void. And it will give us a form like this. Switch to wireframe and go to top view. Again, we are going to create another void extrusion, but this time we are going to use these circles. So use pick line and offset of one centimeter and create void inside these circles like this. Use the split elements and cut them from these parts. Then create a line from this center to maybe here. And after that, mirror it for the other side using this reference plane here. Then we are going to trim these lines together like this. Now you can hit finish and go to front view. The void is in this part but we need it to be up here. So I'm going to create a reference plane one inside here 
and another one under this line just to make sure it will cut the extrusion i am going to create an align dimension from this reference plane to here and i'm going to set it on maybe four centimeter and then i am going to lock it and for this part i'm going to set it on maybe one or two centimeter and again i'm going to create a dimension like this and i will lock it now i am going to align this void with these two lines for the top part i'm going to click on here and then click on this top part and then i'm going to lock it and for the base part i will select this line and then the base of this void and again lock it click on this cut geometry select the extrusion and then this void if we go to 3d view we can see how it looks next we are going to create the lighting so we have this light source in here and it will create a beautiful lighting but we also need something in this part maybe something like light bulb which we are going to assign a lighting material for it actually really easy we are not going to model anything else so if we go to front view we are going to select this void and we need to copy it on itself then we are going to uncheck this cut geometry and we are going to uncut geometry so first select this one and then click on the void after that if you select the void in here you can switch it to a solid form now we can assign a material for it i'm going to click on this part and i will create a lighting material for it if you click on this asset browser and scroll down a little bit you will find these lightings in here select either one of them and now from this emission part you can change its luminance and its color also if you go to graphics you can check this use render appearance and it will give a white color to the model which is really good just make sure you change its bottom alignment so i'm going to click on this align and then i will select this second line and then click on this part in here and lock it now if you go to 3d view it will have a perfect lighting like this you can also change the size of this source so if you go to family type in this part you can go with maybe 40 centimeter and if you apply it will be smaller also you can change its circle diameter i'm going to go with 40 for this part too and okay before we move on to the next part i want to assign a permit for the material of this part too so if you select the extrusion you can create a permit for its material click on this part and create a new parameter in here give it a name any name that you want maybe the name of the material that you want to use or maybe simply just type material i'm going to go with metal and okay now for its threads we are going to go with very simple extrusion but before that i'm going to go to front view and in here i am going to create a reference plane i will create a one centimeter reference plane in here and another one in this part i'm going to create an aligned dimension from this part to here and from this one to this reference plane i'm going to set both of them on two centimeter and then i am going to lock the dimension now if we go to 3d view on top view and on wireframe we can create a thread so go to create and extrusion and just create a very small circle in this part for its radius i would like to go with one centimeter or maybe eight millimeter anything that you like i need three of these so i'm going to copy two more for these two sides but i want the distance between them to be equal so i'm going to create a line like this in here and i will use this angular dimension from this point to here 
and now I can set it on exactly 120 degree then I'm going to copy it from this point to here okay and then I will mirror it for the other side like this then I'm going to delete this line and hit finish if you go to front view we can find it down here but I'm going to align it between these two lines so click on align and select this line for the top part click on this part and then we are going to lock it and repeat it for the base part too select the second line and then click on here and after that lock it well realistically we need to attach these wires to the ceiling and lighting fixture itself but i want to create some extra part for these two sides just to give it a little bit form let's copy it on itself and move it up to here then we are going to go to edit extrusion in 3d view and in here we are going to make them a little bit bigger maybe 10 millimeter 15 millimeter or something between them i'm going to go with 12 millimeter like this and i'm going to change all of them to this number now go back to front view again and align it with this line and this part and repeat it for the other side too while we are in here i'm going to create the most important parameter for this family so i'm going to use this align dimension and i'm going to create a dimension from this part to here select it and turn it into a parameter you can call it height or elevation i'm going to go with height okay now if we go to family type we can change this value let's see if it's working properly or not let's go with 30 centimeter and okay it kind of worked but we have some problems in here first i'm going to select this extrusion and i will delete it apparently it wasn't attached to its place correctly and also this part this extrusion which was the lighting i'm going to use a line again and i will lock it with this part let's see if it's working this time i'm going to go with 50 centimeter okay perfect if we go to 3d view we can see it like this one more time on 20 centimeter okay and perfect okay i think we exaggerated on the threads i'm going to make their radius a little bit smaller and also for their material i'm going to select these three parts together i'm going to create one parameter for their material let's go with wire for now and okay go to family type and in this part i will create a material for the metal change its name to simply metal and if we go to asset browser from this part we can select this part and in here we can select between all of these different color and texture i will select this one for now and for its graphic i'm going to check this use render appearance okay and for this wire i will create another material let's go with simply wire and also i'm going to select a metal material for it maybe this one and this is our lighting let's also check it inside a project i'm going to load it into this file that i have worked before just to check it one more time so let's select it and go to edit type in here i'm going to switch the height to let's go with 40 centimeter let's also check it on 10 centimeter and it works perfectly the form is really beautiful so you can be creative and set a few of them together maybe rotate them a little bit maybe create different materials of them and change their height and create a beautiful lighting fixture for your space you can use it above a bar 
it could be good for a dining table and also you can use it for an island on your kitchen so i really hope you enjoyed watching it and i will see you in the next video